Yes, we do still fly, even after Corona, $6 plus air fuel, and two other fun projects in the hangar. But before we can fly to our next destination, it's that time of year again when we must finish our annual conditional inspection. This will be Caddy's 12th inspection. We leave no screw unturned. All of the inspection hatches have to come off for inspection, then go back on. May never get out. You might not. Be my final so where are we going? Place. I don't know. Where, I'm going wherever <laughs> Nowhere today, are we? <laughs> going wherever the airplane goes. The fun of the annual. Yeah, notice the noodle. Yeah. One of the major focus points of the inspection is obviously the engine. The injectors get cleaned and the plugs cleaned and rotated. Then we do a compression test on every cylinder every year and compare the numbers to the numbers we had in the previous years. Now for the fun part. Mmm, the borescope, otherwise known as the colonoscopy. The more squeamish among you may want to look away now. The next few minutes will be terribly boring. Trying to find top dead center so we can back off a half a turn and have room for the borescope. Right there. Now I can feel the vacuum. Here to vacuum. Right there. Should be just about right. What's the old saying? This is going to hurt you more than it hurts me. And this is one, two, this is number three. Looking at the exhaust valve. And it looks pretty good. It's as clean as the rest of them does. Okay, the next couple of minutes will be video from the borescope inside of each cylinder. This will give all of you YouTube experts out there the chance to comment on the condition of each cylinder. Seriously, thanks in advance. This is cylinder number one. Looks like the rest of the cylinders. Plenty of lead deposits, but no uneven edge burning or discoloration. Also, you can still see the honing marks on the side of the cylinder walls on all of the cylinders. Not too bad for 1200 plus hours of wear and tear. This graphic published by the AOPA Air Safety Institute shows what we are looking for. Actually, it shows what we don't want to see. Any green uneven discoloration around the edge would indicate that a valve has stopped turning and could possibly soon fail. Burned pizza. Not okay from Domino's, but okay with the valves. This graphic shows what may not look tasty to the eye, but it's very digestible to the engine. Thanks AOPA for this informative chart. I will try not to make the rest of this procedure too painful. So here are some Cajun music to listen to while you watch the rest of the procedure. See you when you wake up.
And there you go. All the covers are on, the cows are connected, she's full of fuel and ready to fly. Oh yeah, do us a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Also hit the subscribe button. We've got several other videos planned coming up, including videos of our 75 year old Big Bird, the Stinson Voyager and the engine issues that we've got. Plus we've also got an uh, update on our Rand's S21 home built kit project that we're working on. That's really going to be fun. And that's going to include some uh, avionics type uh, videos, hopefully in the next several months. So give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Where are we going? I don't know. Where are we going?